Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a haul, a quick haul. I, I went to Michael's yesterday um, and played last night, and I wanted to film this, but I was tired. Anyway, um, yesterday they had from 3 to 7 a 20% off coupon, uh, extra 20 off of regular and sale price stuff. So I just went and had a look around. I was actually, it's very hot here in New Jersey, and I was in my craft room yesterday, and um, it just all of a sudden occurred to me. I've been playing with my microbeads. Those of you who saw my little mixed media ATC tutorial, they're little tiny beads, literally micro beads. But look at the little glitter. They're so cute. And I've had them in my stash, this set, forever. It's Recollections, which is Michael's brand. Um, I hadn't really used them for much. And then all of a sudden, I just started putting them on my ATCs, and I'm loving it. And I thought, oh, I would love some other colors. So I went to see if they had other colors, and they did. This was the only other pack, um, and it's metallics because I wanted gold. I got copper, black, and clear, and silver. So that was awesome. I can't wait to play. And then actually, as a matter of fact, I was watching a video by um, Inky Obsessions, and I think it's Patty Tolley. She was using these in her... Lori Micah Clay designs for grout. Definitely gonna steal that one. Gonna be doing that. Um, I mean, I was putting beads and everything, but I'm gonna try the micro beads. Um, I got this stamp set, which, you know, I wasn't looking for a stamp set, but somehow this little guy here caught my eye. And I thought, I can put that on clay and play with my mica powders and stuff. And I just love I just love the whole set. I mean, it's not a cheap set. I think this was $16.99, but I had a 50% off coupon. So I used a 50 on this and a 40 on that. They let me do that. And then it was like 20% off the rest, which is not expensive stuff. So that was great. Um, but yeah, I was playing with this last night. I'm going to make, I'm going to try and, I'm getting the clay out. Um, I want to make a box. A couple of boxes with this but what I did was I was embossing it like I used white paper do I have black yeah I did it on black paper like this is just done with clear embossing powder so on the black paper it looks black and this is like my metallic jelly rolls which I think that looks super cool just on paper um, here's some of the wings that I used for this little angel I'll show you that in a minute um, and then the butterfly from the set, just in silver. So that's the black. And then this is um, some of the ones. Look at this one. This one's with glaze pens. This one was my favorite. And this is on white paper, white cardstock. But it makes the bird look so much whiter. Because, like, when I used other stuff, like, this was actually um, mica powders that I just mixed with water. I mean, that's what I'm going to be using on the clay. But this was um, Stardust jelly roll pens and I like that too but it's flatter it looks like a matte finish and this looks like a really high finish like more like glass so I was playing with those and I did more wings and okay so then I got this this box I went looking for these last year after I saw a video it's like a book and it's got like a magnetic closure um I want to put clay on it I saw a video by Rita Marie um, because she's played with the tiles too. Uh, I was kind of Googling, or not Googling, well, maybe Googling, YouTubing everybody who had done projects with tiles. And she did a book and I just loved it. It was different than this, but this was the closest I could come. I don't like the paper mache ones. They're kind of wonky. I like these. And I'm just going to, I think I'm going to leave the spine the way it is and just cover the front and back with tiles and see how that comes out. Um, these I got because I am looking right here. I have these, I've had these little bottles in my stash and I'm going to do something with them. I don't know what, because I really do. If I either I'll do that today or I'm going to get the clay out. I also have this little, I don't know. I might not make it to hashtag love summer art for the next one, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I've enjoyed that. You guys, you guys have put out some really great stuff. Um, I saw a lot more art journaling things um, 
and I'm going to start one. I really do. I want to start playing, just literally playing, because then I don't have to worry about I'm selling this, you know, because usually everything I make, I bring to a craft show and try to sell it at the end of the year. Um, so I got them. These were 50% off. What are these called? Metal icons. We all have these. Um, I just like the crowns a lot for clay, too, to put in clay. Um, but for everything, like here, here's a little angel. Actually, that would probably fit her. Even to use on an ATC or something. So they were under a dollar, probably. This is where that angel came from. These are a dollar fifty. Uh, stitch bookmarks, stitch it bookmarks. I just I bought two packs and I cut them apart. It's like a really thick cardstock. I think I'm gonna make the the calendar section into like a little mini book, little mini calendar, and maybe put one of these on the on the cover. But I cut, like I said, I fussy cut her out and just wanted to see how she looked with the wings. So that's why I was playing with the wings. Like I, oops, I embossed a bunch of stuff. Like I was just playing with embossing last night. Um, and I did wings. So anyway, but look at how cute with the doggies. I mean, that's too cute. I love angels. So I just thought for a dollar, I have a whole 12 angels. I have 24 angels now. Um, what else? So I think that's, oh. Did I tell you about this? Amazon. I told you I've been, I was watching some mixed media videos. I know one was Mike and one was Claudia from, um, and Claudia's video was super great because she also had a link to her Amazon shop. Like the stuff that she likes that she buys at Amazon in the description box, you could click on it and it would take you there. Anyway. I want to get some like paint pens, like good ones and stuff. Maybe Christmas, but um, I did get these. These, and I don't know if these were even in her box. I found them on Amazon. Three were six bucks, I think, and I got them in two days. It was super. I mean, before I knew it, they were here. They're called Feud Ball, F-U-D-E, ballpoint 1.5 points. Let me see if I have a paper here. I don't want to write it on that. Um. So basically, here, I, I did this before. I don't know why I wrote eat, but like, look, this is my Scarlet Lime pen that I love, and she doesn't have them anymore. This is Christy Tomlinson's store, Scarlet Lime. Um, but for doing mixed media to outline stuff like that, here, here's the line. I love, it's like nice and thin. It's awesome. I don't know what kind of pen it was, but I happened to see another one by Mike. And he's English, and he was, I thought he was saying football. I'm going to use my football, football, I don't know. But it's a bit thicker. But it's a nice, dark line. And it's so smooth, you guys. So, and look, let's see if it, it didn't, it doesn't even smudge. So, yeah. So far, the best replacement I found for this. Um, Amazon. I'll put it in the description box. So, that was a good find. So that's it. That's my little haul. And I'm going to come back and talk about polymer clay uh, adventure. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.